This morning, the Justice Department announced the conclusion of our investigation and released a comprehensive 87-page report documenting our findings and our conclusions that the facts do not support the filing of criminal charges against Officer Darren Wilson in this case. Michael Brown's death, though a tragedy, did not involve prosecutable conduct on the part of Officer Wilson. Now, as detailed in what I will call our searing report, and it is searing, also released by the Justice Department today, this investigation found a community that was deeply polarized, a community where deep distrust and hostility often characterized interactions between police and area residents, a community where local authorities consistently approached law enforcement not as a means for protecting public safety, but as a way to generate revenue. But seen in this context, amid a, a highly toxic environment, defined by mistrust and resentment, stoked by years of bad feelings, and spurred by illegal and misguided practices, it's not difficult to imagine how a single tragic incident set off the city of Ferguson like a powder keg. Once the system is primed for maximizing revenue, starting with fines and fine enforcement, the city relies on the police force to serve essentially as a, as a collection agency for the municipal court rather than as a law enforcement entity focused primarily on maintaining and promoting public safety. Our investigation showed that Ferguson police officers routinely violate the Fourth Amendment in stopping people without reasonable suspicion, arresting them without probable cause, and using unreasonable force against them. It is time for Ferguson's leaders to take immediate, wholesale, and structural corrective action. Now let me be very clear. The United States Department of Justice reserves all of its rights and abilities to force compliance and to implement basic change. Nothing is off the table. 